Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut and edited noble video. Today's video is about Aldi ice cream maker. I bought an ice cream maker a week ago and so far I did approximately 10 liters of ice cream. So the bowl that's inside kind of makes one liter of ice cream or uh, basically on ingredients it's around 750 grams before they're getting fluffed up and kind of raising a little bit. So I tried a couple of different recipes and I tried to describe most of them in this video. However, if you need any ingredients for your recipes, you can get them from local supermarket or if you would like to save some money, like for example, uh, erythritol, which is uh, the, one of the healthiest sugar replacement. I'll put link down below where I get mine and this way you can support my channel as well as help yourself uh, to get things cheaper than they are in the supermarket. So I bought this ice cream, work, ice cream maker a week ago and made a couple of different ice creams and um, as I adjust myself to making ice creams I would like to uh, share my experience with you. And I'm also reading forums uh, about what people struggle with, what questions are. So in this video, I'll also answer a couple of questions that people are asking on the forums. First of all, why Aldi uh, ice cream maker? <laughs> well, because it's probably cheapest on the market. They give you unconditional year warranty, which is more than enough for me. And uh, I think the novelty and relatively cheap price helped me to make the decision. Uh, the other question on the forum, so uh, if you buy ice cream maker and you spend all that money on ice cream maker and then on ingredients, there's no kind of savings on making your, your own ice cream, so why to bother? My answer is, when you go to supermarket, I think you never check or maybe really check uh, a label what's going on into normal ice cream. And if someone would put those ingredients in front of you, you will be quite shocked to, to learn what is in your yummy ice cream from a supermarket. So if you would like to uh, enjoy your snack as an ice cream and don't be like guilty that you eat junk food, you can make your own, which is close to uh, almost no junk food at all because most of the ingredients that go into ice cream, they are um, pretty much okay for you or some of them good. So, the first question people are asking, is it worthwhile to get in one? Uh, I've got no idea, it's your choice, uh, it's slightly chore to uh, wash it, it's slightly chore to make ice cream, and if you don't like soft serve, you need to refreeze what you already made. So, yes, there, uh, there, there is a bit of hassle making ice cream, but if you would like uh, the healthy version of ice cream and you don't want to pay premium for products out there which claim to be healthy and you know what you're putting exactly in i would highly recommend this one especially one from aldi i don't want to name the price but they cost uh, less than 200 dollars and it's a pretty um, good appliance now moving to uh, other questions from a forum uh, what happens if i bought my ice cream and uh, it always beeps it doesn't make ice cream so i think um, a reading manual is a good thing, but also this lid here, it has a, an arrow, I'll try to bring it here closer, an arrow, and the body of the ice cream, ice cream maker has an arrow too. So those two need to be aligned and then locked in for ice cream maker to start working. If you put that lid in any other direction, it still will lock. But it won't work and reason is that because you've got uh, on other side you've got contacts that basically provide power for uh, mixing uh, shower, I don't know what it was called, mixing appliance here. So if you start ice cream maker and the ice cream maker cannot detect that those contacts in touch with the contacts on the body, it will be so people complain that they got a faulty ice cream maker, it's always beeping. I just uh, got the feeling that the arrows on the body are not aligned, right? So, uh, if everything aligns and everything is well, 
the appliance is really easy to uh, to control and to start there's a power button that you press it starts up there's a couple of different options what you would like to do the default one when you start the appliance says straight away ice cream so if you don't need to do anything else if it's not gelato or any other type of you know frozen um, snack you just press play button and ice cream maker will work until ice cream is done so it's not time based it's actually sensing thickness of the mixture when the ice cream almost made it actually beeps to let you know that it's ready and there's nothing fancy about this now if you don't like soft serve you may need to refreeze your ice cream and the reason is that why it's making soft serve because it needs to be uh, meshed all the time so it cannot mesh when it's a solid uh, uh, structure so I think when it detects too much resistance it stops so if a uh, soft serve is not your um, type of ice cream you like eating you probably need to put in a container and keep freezing in the freezer probably one to two hours is enough but machine is great so my quickest time uh, and I also, also use most of the, my ingredients they are coming from a fridge uh, but they're not uh, pre-chilled so uh, the least amount of time that uh, I made ice cream was 45 minutes, the longest takes 73 minutes. So uh, if you'd like to gauge time to take you to make 750 grams or one liter of ice cream, a uh, liter by volume, uh, it will take you uh, just around an hour. So what do you do to make an ice cream? The basic recipe would have only three ingredients that you need to consider. The first ingredient is your sweetener and here I would like to pause and explain uh, what makes ice cream healthier than other version. Basically the taste would come from somewhere and we detect a couple of sweet tastes, we, 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 we detect, uh, uh, detect salty taste and other tastes. So if you'd like to make extremely yummy ice cream, you need to put something sweet and maybe counteract it with a bit of salt, with a pinch of salt. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but trust me, if you add salt, um, it will be even yummier. So there's are only a couple of sweeteners on the market that they are so-called good for you. And the reason why good for you is because they're not getting digested. So if you are trying to avoid sugar, there's a two kind of, or probably three things you got. Uh, monk fruit which is extremely expensive and you cannot easily get it the reason why I say it I know the supermarkets sell, sell uh, package packages of monk fruit if you look ingredients it would be one to three percent monk fruit and 97 percent erythritol so second best would be stevia which again uh, very low percentage of stevia 97 percent erythritol and erythritol so my question is why to spend all that money and buy something expensive when you can get for 50 bucks online two and a half kilos or erythritol so erythritol is sweet as sugar if not even sweeter and you would not taste any difference so when you make ice cream you go link down below i put where i get mine if you buy in a supermarket it's probably three four times more expensive i buy it on amazon getting delivered cheap so what i'll do first uh, I put probably 100 to 150 grams of erythritol uh, in a container. Uh, no need to measure, uh, just you know, uh, everyone got different taste buds, and if you are accustomed to what you know, so that much uh, erythritol I put for 700 uh, milli, uh, 700. 50 milliliters of the substance or one liter of ice cream. Then second ingredient would be thickened cream. Look, whether it's Woolworths, Coles, Aldi, it's up to you. If you'd like more fancy like Poles or any local thickened cream. Uh, but you need 300 ml of thickened cream, right? So here's a thickened cream, I put it in. Done. So it was 600 ml thickened cream here. This is my second ice cream for today. So I just use the rest of the container and then milk. So how much milk? It's up to you. 
So I put approximately 300 ml milk and thickened cream, so be half and half, and leave it uh, off a research roll, maybe 150 grams. So what do you do next? You add what you like to add there. Previous ice cream I made was mango. Now it will be now it's a Christmas time, hot. I still got Christmas cherries here and they are uneaten. So what I'll do, I de-seed them. And when mixture is ready, I'll put it all in and it will mix it all together as it makes an ice cream. You can make it with mango, you can make it with apples, you can make even cookies and cream. How do you make cookies and cream? I still suggest to make plain ice cream first and when it's ready, crumble your cookies into container because it's soft syrup and then mix it together. Because if you put your cookies before you start making ice cream, the constant meshing and all that liquid, the cookies will absorb um, meal before it's getting frozen and becomes soggy, it's not tasty. So if you like crunchy cookies, make soft syrup and then crumble your cookies in. If you would like put uh, make vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream, Put your vanilla essence, couple of drops, a teaspoon inside. Uh, I use also cocoa and the, the uh, yesterday I make with uh, cocoa nibs. I put a uh, link down below where I get mine. It's actually very nice uh, vanilla ice cream with some chocolate. So they don't have any sugar in them. And then you add erythritol, milk and thickened cream. And you've got healthy ice cream. What is healthy? Healthy that means it wouldn't spike your insulin as much you enjoy it and you will be uh, eating it yield free. Now, uh, if you cannot get out the ice cream maker, I put down below a link where you can get a different brand. And to be honest, brand doesn't matter as long as you get ice cream maker that has compressor built in. That's the main thing. If you get the cheap one without compressor, uh, I don't think you will enjoy making ice cream and it won't be as tasty as this one. So all in all, uh, would I recommend this one? You know, as most of my appliances I would recommend, I don't recommend something. This one is not something I would recommend uh, if you're not into making your own ice creams from the scratch, you know, new ingredients. If you just like taste and you don't mind eating it and it doesn't affect your health, just go buy some in the supermarket. I think there's a lot of hassle making your ice cream. But if you are in, into healthy lifestyle, if you'd like to know exact ingredients that go into your ice cream and you are a creative soul that's trying to entertain other people or just your kids or whatever, with different ice creams uh, that you create and that you cannot get flavors in the supermarket or it's just uh, uh, too much, I think this ice maker is a so ice cream maker is a perfect uh, appliance for you, especially at the, at the cost less than $200 or around $200. Uh, I would recommend anyone uh, in the summer now, it's a perfect way to cool down. Well, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll try to make maybe another video with the tips and hints. For now, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, if you like this video, put a uh, thumbs up and I'll see you in other videos. Thank you for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.